Hi everyone. Hi everyone, welcome <laughs> along today. <laughs> if you recognise him. How do you recognise me? I put on my stick on moustache today, so I feel a bit um, Argentinian. <laughs> so today's workshop, we are going to um, just do a brief run through of the steps of the Argentine Obsession. Um, we're assuming that you guys have had a look at our video, it is online already. There's a demo version and then there's a, a, re, a brief run through of the steps online already. Um, so the plan today is um, go over the steps, but to give you a few tips and techniques to help you to dance it comfortably um, and some ideas of if things are going wrong, what might be going wrong for you. Mm. And of course, they can always let us know so, uh, what problems you do have. Yeah, yeah something's right not working. Okay, so we are going to do it in sections because you guys, like us, have probably got this um, very small area to work in. So we're just going to do the first part. Uh, what if we dance it together first, so we see where we're up to, and then we can do it separately. They're all rocking the moustache, and who's the new bloke rocking the moustache? <laughs> <laughs> you can start about there. So this is the section we're going to do. The box, side together, wall side together and the what's this called skate the skate it's actually got a name but i can't think what it is and then turn and open the lady out and then the man's going to close his feet so we're just going to do up to there for the first section so we'll do boss's steps first yeah we'll do the man's steps first guys and what we do is we keep changing our feet so we start off with our left foot and we're going to dance the box and we go walk forward and side together and then back on the right foot, walk side together again. Walk side together. And now we're going to do this step, which we call the skate, because it's a lot like ice skating when you're pushing off. And you're just going to push off on your right foot and step to the side with your left. Push off on your left foot and step to the side with your right. Push off on your right foot and step to the side with your left. And then you're going to Bring this right foot through, we're going to open the lady out and we're going to point this toe at the wall. And then by the time we close, our body has pulled up to our foot. So then we finish square to the wall. How'd you go? Comments, comments. Well, should we try that again? We'll just put it all together this time. Because you guys have been studying our YouTube videos, so you should be pretty used to it. Let's just walk through it at a nice pace. I have to see your feet because it's quite dark. How you going? Can you see my feet, everyone? Yell out if you can't. And now we're going to go forward on the left foot, and here we go. So we go walk, side to get the walk, side to get the skate, push off, push off, two, three, open four, trap the foot on five. We call this the trap. Okay, what about if we have a look at the lady steps, so. Um, Sure, will I do it so that I've got my back to them? I think so, yeah, you go back down. Good, right, guys. Yeah. And the guys can keep, I'll, I'll um, join with Sue. Okay. So you can stay up on the, the dance carpet, guys. <laughs> there we go. Walk, side together, walk. Side and as you come in, you tap your foot and you just make a little eighth of a turn uh, in preparation to walk back on the diagonal. Walk back and flip the foot, turn the foot over and walk back, flick, walk back, flick, and then you take the foot all the way around to be backing down the dance floor. Woo! Back. <laughs> you finish on one foot, and the man does his trap, and the lady does nothing. So let's try that again. I'm a bit sticky. I'll get some power going for you. That'll be good. Turn around and do it that way. Ready? And we go. 
walk side to go the walk side the ladies tap and the guys close now the skates go walk flick two flick three flick and open on four open on four and trap on five trap Ready, go. Walk, side to get the walk, side, skate, left, two, three, open, four, trap, five. Very good. <laughs> I'm really going to say land six. <laughs> so what tips have we got for that section, Ross? Should we talk about the hold first? Yeah, we'll talk about the hold. Because when we're in hold, it's like, it's like a ball in hold, guys, and we're taking up a ball in hold. But we're very much lower, and we've got our elbows closed inwards. So we're not we're not dancing with our elbows out, and it's mostly due to the lead. So we've got to keep this light nice and low. And look at the ladies; they've got their elbows nice and low. And Sue's just got her ballroom grip on my arm there, and maybe my right hand is a little bit further around the lady's back. So look at my fingers; they're right into Sue's spine there. So the middle of my finger is in Sue's spine there. And of course, we line up square on this one. So we're, we're, our bodies are pretty square to each other. Versing if we we're going to do a waltz and a tango and a foxtrot, we'd be a little bit more out here. But I'm pretty square with Sue on this one because I want to lead her to do the flicks. So that's, that's the, the whole, guys. And see this left hand is in the middle here. And if Sue walks away, walk away now, Sue. And see where my hands are, guys? They're, they're here. So when I'm leading all of this stuff, where's my spatula, Sue? <laughs> and um, the lead, thank you. The lead is this. See that? And we're keeping a spatula in the middle. I'm not wandering over this side or wandering over that side. I've kept it in the middle of my body, of course, because my body could be moving as I'm doing this. And you can see, as I've taken this on the skate, because Sue's already set up to do the first one because she turned her eight, so I just skate on the first one. And as soon as I land on this foot, then I'm gonna make this lead. So I set Sue up, see that? I've made this little lead. I've set her up so she's ready to step backwards now on a diagonal angle and then I skate with her. As Soon as I get there, I lead her again. So I've done this little lead and I've skated to the side and again, I make this lead, lead. And the, the, the last lead will probably be a little bit bigger because I'm trying to get Sue out of the way so I can get my right foot in and then close and trap. And you can see, this is staying here. Lead, 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 step, close. And see the spatula? They just stayed in that position, guys. <laughs> we might pull it out again. Okay. <laughs> so let's have a go. Have a look at that. Maybe if we did it on the 45, you'd be able to see the lead well. So I'm at I'm at the beginning. Sue's already turned her eight, so I don't really need to do anything there. Not unless Sue wasn't prepared to do that, then I would have had to have let her. And then I've let her walk. Now, as soon as I've got on that foot and Sue's on her foot, I'll give her a little lead, like my spatula lead. There it is, my spatula lead. And then I skate to the side again, lead her again, skate to the side again, lead her again. That was a little bit bigger, that one, because now you can see Sue's set to open out and I close my feet. So that little lead, that's, that's a pretty important one, that one, isn't it, Sue? Mm. I think the crucial bit is to not do too much, but it is quite firm. So the man has got a, quite a firm hold of the lady, you know, not to be... Um, wishy-washy. Yeah, not to be too wishy-washy or, or too big. Like Ross is saying with the spatula, it's, it doesn't have to be very big. You've got to remember, guys, with the lead, that you're only telling the lady what direction you want her to go and giving her the inclination to go there. You're not physically doing it for her. So it's a bit of a shock lead as opposed to trying to make her turn and then you're doing too much. What does the lady have to do to be able to follow that lead? She has to be, her weight has got to be slightly in toward me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like you and I were both standing here like this and we've got our hands up, so 
don't go yet. Okay. <laughs> and then we're slightly going to fall together. And we find this middle point. This is the point where all the lead is coming from, this little bit. And you can see now that Sue's uh, joined in with me. As soon as I make it, look, look what's that, see? She's starting, to, she's starting to work from my lead, but we've both got to do it together. It's no good me having this, I'm falling into my partner and then Sue hasn't fallen into me. She's, she's like, well, back there. It's very hard to make her follow a lead from there. So you can see, ladies, you have to have a little bit, it's just a little bit of pressure You've got to create this little bit of pressure toward each other. And Sue and I have got, we've got this, we've got this great connection going on. Except for that little bit. <laughs> and then Sue does these, and look, see, they're just tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny, 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 to make Sue dance that action. And I've kept it, my elbows into my body. I haven't let my elbows open up as I'm doing this lead. So we've, we've danced the box, so you're all set up. And I've kept my elbows in. If Sue, walk, you walk away, Sue. See that? I'm, I'm right here. Right here. Close to my body. I'm making sure that I've got my back in the man's hand so that I'm, I'm quite firm in the man's hand on my back and that I keep my el elbows in line with my body so that as he turns me, I'm, I'm sort of more like this. Not allowing, as I feel this hand turn, to not allow this hand to move freely, or this arm to move freely. It has to have a, a, re, a corresponding response from the rest of my body, so that as he moves my hand, I get a, a reaction in that way. Um, there was something else I was gonna say. Can we just do the actual skate? So you keep making sure your back's in his hand, and you've got your hand nice and firmly towards the man here, and we're just gonna skate. One flick. Oh, the other thing was, you can see that only the bottom section is moving. I'm not responding with my shoulders as I'm doing it. We're staying in the square it's position. It's just a bit of a hip swivel happening. Um, so I'm trying, oops, there's that shirt again. <laughs> I'm trying to stay parallel with the man with the top half of me and respond with the hand as it flits into my hip. It makes my hip turn, but it doesn't make my shoulders turn. Just the skate again. Walk, flick, walk, flick, walk, and then on the last one, as the man opens me up, well, I'm just looking to place the foot underneath me. Yeah, you can't quite see it in that angle. Can we do it on the sideways angle? Uh, this way? <laughs> We're going to skate again. Walk, flick, walk, flick, walk, flick. And you can see my foot is just stepping straight down underneath so that I'm balanced. What I'm not wanting to do on the last flick is to actually take a step back because I have to move all of my body weight and, and lose that connection if I do that. So on the last flick, your right foot is up and you're just going to turn. As you turn, you just put your foot down underneath you as soon as you can. That way you're well balanced. I've got two straight legs, my toes pointed, and the man has made sure that his walk forward is in front of my toe, which stops me from going anywhere. That's where the word trap comes in. He closes his feet and trap. Cool. Shall we put on the slow song? I think it was the Bandonian one. Mm -hmm. And we'll just uh, dance that a couple of times if you want to have a go with so us. So we'll have a go. Um, the men following me on the first one, and then we'll spin it around and the ladies can follow Sue. And we might even do a sideways one. So I want to ask questions now because it's behind you, will have to answer them later. Okay, so yes, if you want to type in any questions now on this section. Because we're um, moving on. Talika yeah. will let us know. So I was in the tango then. Bandonian? Yeah. Right. To music. <laughs> Thank you. 
together to finish it off. Side, together. So, do you want to do the man's bits? Yeah, we'll do the man's bits, but I, I need to be this way so the man can follow me. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah. So, here we go, fellas. Here I am. So, I've tracked on five. You, you were facing that way. I know, I was facing that way. Oh, so you're doing it this way around there? I'm doing it this way so, so, you're so, they, go can, sideways. so they can see. Otherwise, if I went this way, could they see that? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, I'll do it this way because... Here we are. So, we've closed on five and we're facing the wall and we lunge on six. So we lunge on six and we've got, and, and as we do that, we as we lunge to the side on six, we're gonna keep our hands where they are. So we're just going to keep my hands there and I'm going to lunge to the side on six, six. Then I'm gonna polish, make the lady polish her foot on my shin. So I do this little lead and then I open her up again, open her up so she points backwards lead her to polish again and now she's going to walk over so what i'm going to do is bring this hand across my body it's like a hockey turn this is i take it over the lady's head i've cl now closed her up i've brought it back down to her waist and then we dance a side together side together how do i go so yeah that's pretty good <laughs> i learned something there. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. i love it oh let's try that again so here we are we're trapped on five I'm feeling trapped on five. Here I go. Lunge to the side on six. Lunge six. Polish seven. Point the lady eight. Polish her again nine. And now I'm going to bring this left hand across myself. Turn her on ten. It's, it's all going to happen on ten. Ten together. So I've got to make all of those actions on one count. Ten together. And side together. Side together. So when you do ten... Um, your foot is just tapping, so that you can... That's right. Yeah. So I've tapped. Yep. Thanks for pointing that out. That's so. okay, I just want to make that clear. And so all, <laughs> the, all the guys understood that we've got a tap in there. So, shall I do the ladies' bit? Let's do the ladies' bit. So we finished here, ladies. 
The man does a trap and we do nothing. So he closes nothing. As he lunges back, we just transfer our weight forward onto our front foot. And you can see, if I lift up my skirt a bit, that my leg is still straight. If I'm standing on a straight leg. Now the man shapes me to polish, which just means that I draw my toe in, find his leg with my shin so that I can God, safely lift up my toe. Thanks. <laughs> safely lift up my toe. And then he shapes me back so that there's a slight swivel as I point my toe back. And then he does it again. But on the second one, I generally don't go for the shin because I'm probably going to swack him in the shin. So I generally just lift up my knee on the second one uh, and create this nice pointed toe. And then I walk over the man, walk over, turn and close my feet, changing weight so I can dip to the side with my right foot. Dip together. So here we are, we're back on the right. We've got our toe pointed. Do nothing on six, transfer forward seven. Draw the toe in and polish eight. Draw the toe back and point nine. Lift the knee up ten. Walk across, step, I think I've got the numbers wrong. Oh, together. Now you're on twelve. Dip, <laughs> together. I'm not sure what number it is. <laughs> Can we do that together for the ladies' benefit? Because yeah. um, for each of us, it's a bit weird on our own. So we've gone trap. And we go lunge six, polish seven, point eight, polish nine, turn across, ten, close together, side together. Okay. Yeah. So here we are, we're in our trap on five, lunge on six, lunge six, transfers. polish seven, point eight, Polish, nine, turn. Ten, together, side, together. Should we do it round this way? So here we are guys, we're facing the wall here. Feet are trapped on five, lunge to the side on six. We go lunge, six, polish, seven, point, eight, polish, nine, turn, ten, together, side, together. Good. Right, sideways. <laughs> nice. That's if Frank's watching him like that. Here we go. So, so we're facing square to you guys. You get a good picture of this. So we lunge to the side on six. We go lunge six. Polish seven point eight. Polish nine. Turn ten together side together. Good. Let's try it again. And um, as we're doing this. Especially for the guy, well, and the ladies too. Notice where the hands are. Our hands will stay in this position. Focus it on the screen there. See if you can catch us out moving our hands around like this. We're not going to. We're going to go. So we've trapped on five, lunge six, polish seven, point eight, polish nine, turn ten together, break together. I think that's a good useful tip actually. That's a good useful tip, especially for the guys. Yeah, and if the guys can do that, it's going to give the ladies so much more benefit because for the ladies, they are doing a lot here. They're standing on one leg, they're trying to run their foot up his leg, and then they've got to turn, and, and as you do that, ladies, you can turn your head, <coughs> excuse me, to look back and point it, uh, at your pointed toe, and then they're coming back up onto a straight leg again. So the ladies have got a lot happening on one foot. So the stronger the man is and clearer that he's not doing too much and he's kept his hand in the middle. Because you can imagine, uh, if we do our lunge, first of all, the first error that I often find, sorry, as the men go into the lunge, is that they lunge and they take their hand with them. So now I've got nothing holding me up. So you must make sure, guys, that your hand is here. That's where I am. So while it might move a little bit, you are definitely moving away from your hand, not taking your hand with you. I think that is the first mistake that goes, goes wrong. So uh, making sure, guys, that you're focused on the lady because she's just transferring her weight and, and this hand is quite firm. And, and us ladies, we need this hand. So I tend to actually lean on this, this front hand um, quite a bit for my balance. So guys, you need to stand firm with that left wrist. Okay, so then we do our polish. As you shape 
take the lady to do the point. She's only got to turn back, so there's only a what you leave for that, Ross. Not much. Not much at all. It's just a little bit forward, just a little bit of inclination. Oops. That way. And, and she does the rest herself. He just does that, and then she chooses to do that. Yeah, so don't feel, guys, you need to do this. Don't do it for us. We don't need your help. Thank you very much. But if we wanted to dress it up, I could, I could make you see how I, I laid you a little bit more out with that hand. But, you know, that's, you've got to be well tuned for that sort of thing. Yeah, and you have to be very firm in the back when you're doing that. So, yeah, that's the key. Not to do too much. Let the lady do it herself. And to keep your hands towards the lady so that she is the one who's balanced while she's on one foot yeah. like a flamingo. And can I say to the ladies, because um, just pointing out to the ladies, after you've, you've done your last polish and you're ready to turn under, and see what Sue's done is she's kept her elbow low and she's dropped her elbow like that. So I, I can easily turn Sue when her elbow is there and watch our elbows as we turn. See that? And I've just got enough room. Can you see at the top there? It's just enough room. Look at this. The fingers are in the top of the lady's fingers. Look at that. And I've got the thumb at the back. And just hook and turn her. Close her up. She forgot where I was going. <laughs> yeah, see that how I snapped it together there? And then it's just a side step. So if, if I just keep my hand here and move to the side, the lady's got to follow. But you could do a little let the lady know early. It's just a little thing though. It's just a very little thing. You, you can't do it. I'm yeah, I didn't, didn't lay, it didn't even know you were going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but really, if you keep your arm close to your body, you step to the side, that is the lead. That is the lead. You don't yes. need to make a hand action. There. So just keep telling yourself, less is more. Less is more, less is more. So the thing that I was trying to get across was the ladies with their elbow. Yes. Yeah, so because a lot of the ladies, as they're turning, they've got their elbow up here, they smash me in the side of the head, knock my glasses off, they're going, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so keep the elbow down. And the other thing is that we have got to look very photogenic all the time. So here we are, look at this, Sue's walking through, she's got a nice look, if she see that, she's like a mannequin, but, but we could sell this, ladies and gentlemen, but if her elbow was up here, you're not going to buy this thing, and she doesn't look photogenic, there she is, she's there, and turning, and look at that, the whole way around, Sue looks great, because we just kept that hand down long, um, low enough, but a lot of the guys, they would be inclined to take the hand too high over the lady like this. Not lean over her far enough. And now look, Sue turns, she's all out of control. So I've got to make sure, guys, that I keep this just missing Sue's head. Just miss the head, look at that. And close together. Mm -hmm. How's that, Sue? Good tip? Very good tip, yeah. yeah. Should we try that to the music, just that section? Which way should we go? The proper way. Yeah, we're heading we'll up do all the... directions like we've been doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do we? Thanks, David. We love you, David. We're <laughs> glad that you feel the need yeah. to pay us for our efforts. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> what do you want? Uh, Bandonian again. We're going to do that section to music. Of course, we love all you guys. Not just David. Thanks for tuning in.
Should we put those two sections together, maybe? Two I don't know, we've got enough room, have we? Of course we have. Okay, yeah. Because we can dance in, we've done this on a cruise ship dance floor. We have. With the postage oh, stamp. Let's try right. it on a postage stamp. Um, let's try stamp. the other song. Um, there was another slow. I'll just have to control the no, see if fast. I can keep it. Intimate tango. Yeah, maybe. Or jazz in Paris. One of the two. I'll do jazz in Paris. From the beginning, man. Well, we're going to do it up to there. So we dance the vine, we go forward and side. So we go one, side, two, then you go behind, side, in front. Behind, side, in front. And then you're going side and back. Side and back. And then you switch, eight, nine, ten. So you go forward, side, back, making a half a turn. Eight, nine, ten. And now I'm diagonally to the wall. Finish facing diagonally to the wall. Let's try that again. Ten steps. You can start a little bit further up. I can still see your feet. Can you? Yep. So we go forward. One, side, two, behind. Behind, side, walk over. And then it's side and back. And you've gone side. And as you go back, you're actually going to travel back diagonally to the wall. Back diagonally to the wall. 
So you've created this bit of a rocking action. Rock. And then you just rock forward, forward side, back, forward side, rock back. Yes. Ladies. Back on our right foot. Back, side, in front, side, behind. Step side, check forward, outside the band. Switch sides, back, turn, forward. Ladies, you're forward and you're dancing outside the partner. And then as you turn to shape the other way, you're again dancing outside partner. Should we do that together? Let's try it together. So we're close together. And we actually haven't taken up hold at this point. Yeah. And we can take up hold over three or four steps. But I sort of get there by about two or three. One, two. So I, I'm on there now, I'm in position. Three, four, five, behind side and front, and the ladies in front side behind. Three, four, five. And now we go side and back, fellas. Side, rock back. The lady is outside my partner, and she's clearly outside. There's not one piece of her pointing at me. And then eight, nine, ten. Eight, nine, ten. And we just did the reverse action there, where the fellas have gone back and we're no part of our body is facing each other here. We're sort of pretty square to this position. Should we go sideways, maybe, just to see if that... We've got enough room, maybe, just... So the ladies can see. Yep, I'll say, yep. And we go walk. One, side, two, three, four, five. Six, rock, seven, switch, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's better because you can see the... <laughs> you can see the hip action. Right hip first okay. time, left hip second time. Yeah, try and get it. Ready, counting ten steps, go. Walk, one, side, two, three, four, five, six, rock, seven, switch, eight, nine, ten. Good. And you'll notice that we're not getting too much washing machine action. What's a washing machine action, Sue? The old one he uses it. Oh, no. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lots of swinging shoulders. Yeah. The idea is to try and be as still as we can. And we're making it happen underneath our body. So as we're doing all this stuff, we're keeping our bodies nice and square toward each other. And sure, there's going to be a small amount. There's going to be a small amount of turn. But look at this. I'm just trying to go sideways and walking over and behind ourselves. It takes a bit of practice. Versing. This is what we don't want. Oh, well that section's um, not too hard, so shall we do the gang show bit and talk a little bit about how we do that bit? The gang show. So well, let's dance into it so they can all see. So from the vine, we've gone one, two, three, four, five, six, rock, seven, switch, eight, nine, ten. Now the gang show, what the man does, Watch here. See, I'm sort of square to this wall. Now, as I'm going to go into my gancho, I'm going to present my back to my partner. See, that's not, I'm not quite backed, but almost. See that? So I've really opened myself up, and I've created this space for Sue to hook her leg into. And then you recover back to square again. Or do we recover back to square? Well, so we've gone gancho. You can see that? The knees have come together. And the man just then rocks back. 
and now he's going to do a hockey term. We're going to talk about that too, or? Um, yeah, but let's let's carry on with this game show a bit more because it's important that the lady is doing the same thing, presenting her left side or her left hip towards the man as well. Because if the lady stays square and just rocks, well, I kind of can't hook, I can't hook my leg because his leg's in the way. So I need to have just this slight turn, open the backside up so that you can flick your foot through. Yeah, a little bit of hip action, ladies. And you can see just by the picture there, that we're in this position, see our feet, they're, they're in a parallel position, our feet, all our feet are parallel. And we're very... Because if I put my foot down, move your leg, <laughs> but it was there. So it was hook, and it was in that position. So basically I've turned my hips to be this way, so that my foot can flip back. Because that's the natural way for the foot to flip. If I'm facing this way, it's, it's, it can't go that way very easily. It needs to go that way. So you turn your knee in, and you lift your hip up, and that's how you get that action like But you're not lifting your hip up. No, I'm hip lifting my hip towards the man. Towards the man, but you're not lifting it up I'm as such. I'm not lifting it up, no. <laughs> Just towards the man, so that I can flip the foot in. Yeah. Now there is an option where the man can do it as well. He can do it. The man can have a go, have, have a look at us. I don't do it because there's too much going on. But we can go gancho, and then the man can gancho as well. See that? I've hooked my foot back behind Sue. And then we work the next bit out. Oh, one, two, three. Yeah. So the man can do it, the gancho action as well, if he wants to. Um, but yeah. And as you're doing your gancho, remember to like point your toe. Try and point your toe down to the floor. Because lots of people get, and they got it, you know, it's, it's not a pretty look. Is it? You don't want that picture hanging on your wall. That and point to toe look. And the other thing to think about as well is as you're doing any any game show in the stroll or this one, that you keep your toe in touch with the floor all the way through to lifting the foot. So that if the man isn't in the perfect position, um, or you aren't in the perfect position, you don't just do it assuming that everything all the world is right. So that way, by keeping in touch with the floor, if I'm hitting the man's foot, then I know I can't go any further because I know I'm going to hit and scratch him with my heel. So then I actually don't do the action. I just draw my foot in and take it back. So it's important that I make sure that I keep my toe in touch with the floor. I can feel that I've got the space, then my foot lifts off. Mm. Mm. Beautifully said, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Gee, I'm hot. That's so nice. I'm in. Oh, should have bought a fan. Oh, I've got a spatula. Is that what this is good for? In the kitchen? I don't cook, so maybe this is. Hey, Pauline. Is Des, this what we do with it? Des isn't going to get it. He's not going. To. And that isn't an option as well. You can actually choose not to do it, either of you. You can just do rock, rock. And that's perfectly fine too. If I'm changing partners a lot and dancing with lots of different people and I don't know how well they know it, etc., then I generally don't do a gancho uh, on either of the stroll or the obsession um, until I get a feel for where the partner is at. So yeah, no, no gancho at all is another option that Des likes to use. Right. Yes. All right, we're up to the last bit. Gosh, and look at the time. We're um, filling out this hour. That's yeah. for sure. We've got seventeen minutes. Oh, well, we we'll get sent to bed otherwise, do we? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last bit. Yes. Which is the, which I think is the trickiest part of the whole dance. So we'll go from the gancho again. So we go, we go gancho and lunge. And now the lady's on my left side. I need to get the lady on my right side. So I'm just going to go walk and close together and move the lady from my left side to my right side in two steps. One, two. Now Sue is on my right side. I've just got her there. Can we do that again? Because that's yeah. a really good tip to, to really clarify what we're doing there. So we've got gancho. Gancho, lunge two, and then we've got two steps to get the lady from my left side to my right side. So ladies, we're just going back and side, keeping the steps fairly small, and the men are going forward right. and together. Together. And, and I've lifted my hand up, yeah. yeah. And now I'm going to take my 
left hand over the lady's head, which we've been over this turn, it's, it's a hockey turn. So we're gonna turn the lady and I'm going to step to the side to then be in line with Sue after I've turned her. Step to the side, now I'm in line with Sue. Yes, and we're ready to go back, lock, back. Let's just do that again though. So ladies, you're just walking across. Now, after you've done your back and side, the, the man's gonna take your hand over your head. You just wanna be doing a step underneath your body. So basically, I'm gonna walk across myself, but I'm not looking to walk down the floor and move myself off this spot. I'm really quite happy staying on this spot because this is where I'm nicely balanced. So I'm just gonna walk across my own foot, turn on the spot, and point my left toe. And by doing that, if I take a fairly small step just on the other side of my standing foot, I can then squeeze my thighs together as I'm turning so that I'm very well balanced to, to just stand there. So if you find you often do that step and you're sort of a bit like this at the end of it, use your legs to help you. Keep your step small, just walk on the other side of your foot, squeeze your legs together, squeeze your bottom together, pull your tummy in and just flick around to the other side. Flick. And nothing moves then. You're in a cylinder, you've stayed in that same spot and you're nicely balanced. Ready for the last bit. Very well said. So sir. we'll just do that once more from the gancho gancho and then we'll add on the last bit on the end. Can we just come down a fraction? Are you calling this? No, or? you can. Oh. I'm going to call it. <laughs> Here we go. So we're going from the gancho. So we go gancho one, lunge, two, move the lady across, three, four, turn her on five, step to the side, five, and turn the lady, five. And here's our hand back in the middle again, guys. Yeah, now this step, the next step, is an amended step. When we first made this dance up, we did it like this, Sue, didn't we? We went gancho, two, one, two, three. Then the lady flicks, four, five, and walks on six. Flicks, four, five, walks, six. Okay, and that's, you can still do that. But we've amended this to make it easier for people to stay in time. Because a lot of the ladies were getting out of time, of not always their followers because the man wasn't leading them properly on the yeah, right Yeah, it was a bit difficult because the man was going step, lock, step and travelling and the lady was stationary and just flicking. So the two steps didn't marry up. So if you got a little bit confused about where you were up to, uh, the men would get confused in the fact that the lady wasn't coming with them and vice versa. So we just amended it to make us both the same, but we still kept the flick. You can still flick. So yeah. it looks like this now. It looks like this now. Gancho, two, one, two, turn three and flick. And then we both step, lock, step together. That's the difference where the ladies weren't doing a forward lock before. So now we have got the ladies working on every beat, haven't we? we? Have. Um, so it is optional for the ladies. You're doing your step turn. Uh, it's quite fast to add that flick in on the end. It's like an up on the end. So it's optional. If you choose not to do it, you can just turn, don't flick, and then go step, lock, step. Yeah, which is the easy way. That, that's how you should try to learn it. And once you've learned it, then you can experiment and put the flick in. So can we just go from where the lady walks over and the man does a side step? So you've just gone, you've gone walk together. Yeah. So the men are going to take the hand over the head and take a step to the side, and the lady's going to walk across, turn, and add the flick if they can. Go. One flick. So there's a bit going on there. Now we do a lock step. The men go back, lock back. Ladies go forward, lock forward. Step, lock, step. Now you want to talk about the last bit? Yeah, I can talk about the last bit. But let's do it so the men can see. So they can right. see what I'm doing here. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell Sue's leading, can't you? Know, I'm trying to think which way will you end up being? Let's go this way. That's the way we've just done it, isn't it? Gancho, two, one, two, three. That's Flick. it. Now we do step, lock, step. We go back, lock, back. And as we're doing this, we're going back, lock, back. And I'm starting to lead my left hand into my right pocket. Back, lock, back. 
So by the time I finish, I've got my left hand across my body. And I've cleared, what I've done is I've cleared a path for the lady to walk. And the lady's going to go, walk together, wait there. There's four more steps to go. The lady only dances two, and the men dance four. We go forward, forward, side, together, fellas. Forward, forward, side, together, to finish facing square to the lady again. Should we try that again? Mm -hmm. From this direction. <laughs> Sue's leading from the gancho. <laughs> and so we go. Gancho, two. One, two. I've stepped to the side on three. Back lock, back. Four, five, six. Now we go seven, eight, say, side nine, ten. Seven, eight, side nine, close, ten. Now the ladies can go step together and wiggle it a bit. Ladies. From the lock step? From the lock step. Look at the slip in there. Good thinking, Sue. From the lock step. Here we go. Step, lock, step. The lady steps. Walk close together. Wiggle and up. And I just put my weight onto the balls of my feet and then just swivel my heels and my hips. So I keep my shoulders still and then I just go down and up. As I wiggle up, down, I'm watching myself doing it, make sure I'm telling the truth here. Yeah. Down and up. One, two. Or you can just go wiggle two. Or you can just go one, one and two. You can do whatever you like. You can do nothing. Or you can do two. the old one, two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <clears throat> So let's try that again. Shall we do it from the gancho? Let's yep. pick it up from the gancho. Yep, same way around for yeah. now. We'll switch swap sides, I guess. Yeah, we'll it. change sides. So it will lead me around the other way. Here we go. So we go. Guys are forward on the left, ladies back on the right. Go. The gancho, two. Uh, one, two, turn three. Four, five, six. Leading the lady across seven. Eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. And what I want to point out, fellas, is this step lock step. So we're doing the step lock step, and I'm looking to get the lady across me this way. So which foot do we go step lock step? Oh, it's this foot, is it? And as I'm going step lock step, I'm moving my left hand across. Step lock step. So see that I've got Sue I've got on my one. right side, and my left hand is on my right hip basically. So we've each got a train track now. I've got this yeah. to dance in and you've got that to dance in. But I'm going to circle around to Sue. I'm going to circle around but I'm going to leave my hand here. Watch this. One, two, see Sue's closed easily, haven't moved my hand yet. So I've gone one, two and I've left my hand there and I'm on the one foot. Two and then on three, four I flick my hand to the side just to three, to open me back up, to square myself back up to Sue for nine, ten, mm. or three, four, or seven, eight, <laughs> or five, six. Seven on the yellow. Yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> All right, let's do it the other way, so we'll gancho over here. Okay. Mm. So you want me to go back off, back down the floor? I want you to do the gancho facing this way. I don't know what's going to happen, but it should be interesting. It should be interesting. <laughs> and go. Gancho, two. One, two, turn three. Yeah, step, lock, step. Step, lock, step. I've got the lady on my right side now. So by the time I did my last step, I was there. I'm going to leave my hand and start walking around. One, two. Now I can move my hand to the side with my hip. Three, four. Excellent, mm -hmm. very, very good. <laughs> it's my pleasure, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do that non stop now. Um, from the gancho gancho. Gancho gancho. Which, Which way around? Way? Which way around do you want it? <laughs> that last way was alright. The last one was good? Yeah. Ready? No stopping. Go. Gancho two. Oh, one, two, three. A step, block, step. I walk, two, three, four. 
That was a very bizarre alignment, boy. It was a very bizarre alignment. I thought we were going this way. That's because you didn't leave me well enough. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I, I just want to dance sideways. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I'll do. I'll, I'll accommodate Sue on that one. Okay. Go. Gaucho, two. Oh, one, two, three. A step, block, step. I'll walk, two, three, four. You see, I didn't flick that time. And of course, we haven't taken up hold at the end. And then as soon as we start the box, we'll take up hold straight away. Walk, side, together. Now, so some of the ladies must have been thinking about what were you doing with your neck? Do you have a sore neck today? Or, <laughs> <laughs> or how do you hold your head? when you dance this dance? Because um, I've noticed it looks like you've got a bit of a sore neck going on. Yeah, I always look into this bit of window here. Okay, and it's quite nice because I'm like breathing right over the top of her nose or her eyebrow. Oh, isn't that a lovely picture? It feels nice. It's kind of like a reflection of, you know, because you, you've seen the Argentine, we're not Argentine tango dancers, but you've seen it in the, and they dance quite, oh, it's no good with glasses, like, sort of like that. So it's kind of like a nod to that whole shaping, because obviously in ballroom, we're all about head to the left and dancing out here, and then we dance Argentine tango, and then it's all inward and it's to the right. It's, it's like wrapping your body trendy. around each other, isn't it? Yeah. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Warren. You guys are great. Warren and Mandy. Um, let's do that to music. And then we can do them. Oh, well, we're never going to be able to do the whole thing because we won't fit it in the lounge. In the of course we will. Room. We'll have a go. Let's do from the vine and go into the ending so we can piece those two sections together without music first, just to get our head around it. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Again. No music, sorry. Ready? We go. Walk, take up hold two. Three, four, five, six, now you change your direction, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we do our gancho, so we open up, we're going sideways in this. Open up, recover. One, switch the lady, two, turn, three. Step, block, step. I walk, two, three, four. Start again, one. Side together. Two. How'd right. you go? Let's try that to music. Oh, hot. With that spatula. Five, six, seven, go. Five. Thank you. 
that on one day. Um, gancho, two. One, two, and when the man steps to the side on three, he can ronde his foot. So see my foot is pointed on the floor. I draw a semicircle and then a back lock back. Back lock back. I couldn't really see because my back's on the way. Oh, was it? Yeah. So from the gancho, have a look at this, fellas. So I've got my lady here. Gancho, two. One, two, switch the lady to the side on three. So as I step on three, I have to ronde as well. So it goes three ronde, three ronde. So I'm ready to go back on four for four, five, six. Or alternatively, gancho, two. One, two, three, do it. Don't even do a ronde. Leave your foot there and back, lock, back. But you can ronde. It's very nice. Cool. Well, hopefully there's um, plenty of useful tips in there to help you guys. Now, remember, refer to the videos that we've already got online on the Argentine Obsession. And feel free, if you would like to reward us for our efforts today, uh, we have a PayPal button. Uh, which way? That, there it is. Up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. Sorry, it's reverse for us. Um, uh, so you can pay with PayPal or uh, let us know and we can give you bank deposit details. Or just watch the videos and you'll see the adverts come up because that'll give us two cents every time an ad comes up. <laughs> every ten ads, probably two cents. <laughs> and so we haven't told these good folk what we're doing next week. Or are we leaving it up to these good folk? Um, well, feel free to give us some suggestions because we actually haven't had a conversation as to what we would do next week. So far we've done some freestyle cha-cha and we've done a sequence dance, the Alpine Stroll. Now we've done Secret Stance Argentine Tango. I did have an idea in my head that I didn't discuss with you about doing a move, a freestyle waltz move, um, just one step that we can just do in this amount of space that you could practice. Obviously those of you who are on carpet might find that a little bit harder. Um, so that was one option, but feel free to let us know what ideas you've got. This session is all about ballroom. On Friday night we're doing our line dancing. So far we've learned the swivel rock and the tush push. And in that session, because that's a one hour session, it's a bit of a sweat session. Uh, in the second half, I go over a lot of the dances. So if you do come to our dances or you'd like to do a bit of line dancing, we do a bit of a social in the second half. <laughs> um, and so we go over the Miranda Samba, which we've got online, the Rumba One, which we've got online. This week I'm gonna be, um, looking at the Tanika Waltz and giving you a reminder, thank you, I need that, uh, a reminder of the Tanika Waltz, which is named after our beautiful daughter. And thank you to Tanika for her efforts setting up these live streams. I absolutely have zero idea about how to do it, and Tanika's been legendary for us to be able to do this even. Um, so yeah, we've got line dancing Friday night. Um, Come on down Friday night, my and dads. look out for the email to tell you what we're gonna be teaching next Sunday. And of course, tell all your friends. Yeah, we're here. Get people joining us. We might it's as well. We're going to be yep. um, in lockdown for a little while, so we might as well be dancing. Subscribe, click the bell. Subscribe, exactly, Tanika. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell, and you will receive notifications. I have got a video in preparation. Um, I'm going to upload the Rosalie Rumba. Um, that one I've got ready, almost. So that'll be coming up during the week. Last week I did. What did I do last week? Oh, I forgot. That's what happens oh, when you get new, over 50. The new, uh, hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> the new Vogue Waltz. I did the New Vogue Waltz, and you know, that's a nice breakdown of the steps. That is such a beautiful dance. Um, very, very popular. Someone agrees with me today, Tanika? Yeah, when they sent me money, you're the Oh, they did. That's very true. Queen of Hearts Rumba would be nice. Queen of Hearts Rumba. Now, that's a good suggestion. We could teach that one, and it then I can idea. actually upload a video because we have pre recorded it. And we're so much younger then, and skinnier, so that's a good video to put up. <laughs> Just a different hairstyle. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Different hairstyle, maybe a bit skinnier maybe for both right. of us. So like it normally reminds me to suck it in. <laughs> she didn't today. She didn't do it today. You know, she's going, holding up a sign that says, suck it in, mum, love you. <laughs> this video will go live a few minutes after it's done, so feel free to put it down then. Okay. Did you and hear thanks, that? guys. For tuching in today and and all the guys that are uh, watching us from overseas as well. Have had yeah, I really people. appreciate that. All the guys and from the UK, uh, America, Canada, 
New Zealand. Yeah. Have a lovely rest of the weekend, guys, and uh, keep dancing. Uh, I can start dance for us would be great. Yes, okay, we'll hammer that into Ross and make him, while we're at home, we should be working on it. We've got room to work on it, so I'll, I'll keep working on, on that one. I've got the name worked out, it's just um, getting him to make it up with me. Okay, thanks guys, and see you next weekend. Bye. Cheers, bye.